Hi guys, so welcome. Today we're gonna talk about the game that's called QT. And it's it pains me so much because this is tagged as a horror game, but there's absolutely no horror aspects to it at all. The only scary thing is that there's smileys on everything, which is, is so sad because I had hoped to have because it, it looks interesting to have so much color in a horror game, which is a kind of unique concept, but it's like I can't find the horror in it. And I feel, I feel tricked. I feel like disappointed and I feel it, it's really, really sad because I, I'm honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal it to you guys. I gave it a 2 out of 10. I gave it a 2 out of 10 because it's just, it's, as I said in my review, there's, there's nothing to it. It's like you're, you're this thing and you can only see the arm of them. And basically I, this whole game is, uh, is created in paint. And I think that is kind of creative to create a game in that way. But it just, everything just falls flat, unfortunately. Basically, you have an arm. And with this arm, you can interact with things. There's going to be like a little, I can't remember what the symbol is. Oh, when that one lights up, you can interact with it and you, you will like either pick something up like a puzzle piece or something or you will pick up a key, which is also <laughs> a problem because I played the first and the second, uh, second kind of episode of this um, and not the third because when I was running around in the second one, which is called Museum, uh, at some point I had no clue what to do. I was basically just running around in a circle back and forth doing nothing and then I was using my arm to just like swap everywhere like swap everywhere and then suddenly out of nowhere it's like yeah you find the last thing to open this last door uh, at least I thought it was the last door and then you went there where the door was uh, and then it was just nothing in there like there was a few things in there but it was like it was just a room and then someone was talking and they, they were they were I don't know not, not, not what I expected. Um, and it's, it's so sad. It's, it's, I'm really, really sad because I, I was hoping that this would be a fun game, that there would be something to it, but it's, it's just not. And it's, there's no possibilities to get a hint or help. Like there, there is one one thing there is one painting that is like a layered thing with a smiley of course uh, like this and then it has like a, a pink thing that just indicates it's probably here but there's i can't find anything that looks like this i can't find anything else like it's just it's just frustrating and it's it's cute colors uh, and like i said I, I was really hoping that it would be so much better but there's nothing and the mechanics are so simple. You're running around and you're uh, doing WASD and then running around and then you swap with your hand. With your uh, left mouse button. And then as soon as you swat, uh, swat something, you pick it up and then like you get a check mark or achievement or whatnot. But then it's, it's some things you also just walk past. Like you just walk across them. You just walk on top of them and then they get picked up. So you technically don't have to do anything. And it's just... Two simple mechanics and the huge disappointment that this was supposed to be a horror game and it just ends up being a cute paint game, which is, is really sad. And I'm giving it 2 out of 10 because there's no... I have not been able to find any bugs. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's basically it. I couldn't find any bugs. And the, the, the story is finding your friends. So, yeah, no indication of no help, no idea what to do next. And it's, it's just, it just falls flat, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, then well, you're just going to have to watch me dance awkwardly once again.